Matt Dawson and his wife have opened up about the trauma of their son's near-fatal meningitis battle. Sami, who was two at the time, was rushed to hospital and put in an induced coma after being diagnosed with meningitis E in 2016. Speaking on ITV's Lorraine, retired rugby player Matt, 45, and his wife Carolyn revealed how they were told by medics to say goodbye to their son as there was a real risk he would not survive. Carolyn, 32, who is also mum to the couple's son Alex, 5, says she coped with the prospect of losing her son by zoning out and refusing to accept that he would not be coming home. The couple are now working to raise awareness of meningitis symptoms among parents after admitting they didn't know their son's fever coupled with cold hands and feet were warning signs. Sami, now four, had woken up groggy in February 2016 and started to vomit, which the couple initially put down to a stomach bug. He was feverish but had cold hands and feet, which they at the time didn't understand was one of the most common symptoms of the condition. They called a doctor who suggested they take Sami to a and &E if they were concerned, and the stunned couple later learned their little boy had been struck by meningitis. Ask how quickly the seriousness of Sami's condition was made clear, Carolyn said, straight away I think. Ten minutes after we went into hospital, there were loads of doctors around us. I sort of zoned out of life a little bit, I was just in shock. I didn't understand at all what was happening. They taped Sami's eyes and said he's in a coma now. I couldn't believe it. Everything happened so quick. She continued, the way I coped was by zoning that possibility out of it. I was told that he might not come home, but I think it didn't cross my mind. Sami had all the classic symptoms of meningitis C, including a rash, spots in his mouth, a fever and cold hands and feet. The couple said they hadn't even known the symptoms of meningitis, so didn't think there was something seriously wrong with Sami. Matt said, that's the slightly embarrassing bit on behalf of Carolyn and I really, we didn't know what the signs were, we didn't know that, if Sami had had cold hands and feet, even though he was really feverish, that's a little bit weird. I just remember thinking at the time, that's a little bit strange. After doctors discovered the symptoms he was sedated and given antibiotics before being put in the coma. He was then moved to Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital, where he spent six days in a coma. The couple said timing had a huge part to play in their ordeal and that things could have turned out differently, recalling many sliding doors moments while getting him to the hospital. Carolyn said, I had two home births, I never go to hospital. There was a point when we saw the tiniest of spots on his tummy when I panicked.
It was a proper panic. We were still very lucky. The decision was made like that. Clicks her fingers. The traffic looked better one way than the other to the hospital, so we were lucky in that way. Sami has been left with a few scars on his wrists and ankles from the rash he had, but is now back to his old self. The couple are now trying to raise awareness of the signs and symptoms of the condition so other parents can spot it sooner than they did. Matt said, in my mind now, the awareness that we're trying to get out there, if you understand those signs and pick them up, do something about it immediately.